Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. Sorry for such a big delay, but I've been really busy these days. I'm working, um, as I previously said, every single day, uh, five days a week. And I also, we have really, you know, beautiful, shiny, sunny weather right now. So I always want to be outside, to stay outdoors, to bike a little bit more, to stay with my friends. So that's why I was a little bit late. So let's go back to, to the topic. Today I wanted to talk to you about protein and this is a really big issue not only for us vegans but for non-vegans as well and as everybody knows this is a big concern about how much protein do we need and uh, <laughs> how well nourished are we right now with protein and right now actually it's really a big craziness about protein and everywhere you look like everywhere you look around it's it's all about protein, it's all protein bars, it's protein shakes, it's protein everything, everywhere. And even girls go crazy and make protein pancakes without, mostly without flour. They make it with protein powder, which is, I think, insane. And many people, they don't think that you can actually overeat on protein. You can take too much protein. And if you look through the bodybuilder channels um, in Russian or English doesn't matter but I look on Russian bodybuilders a lot recently and they eat like about 300 grams of protein a day they can reach up to 400 during the, uh, the some period when they prepare for some uh, for some you know championships and everything like that so they eat a lot and they think that everything like will go smooth like their body will get over it, just, you know, get rid of it. Their kidneys will work fine and stuff. But they don't think that they actually can overeat on protein. And we don't really need as much protein as, as we think we do. Uh, when muscles are building not only on protein. Of course, protein gives us a lot. It gives us a good metabolism. It helps us to create new cells, to, to recover from workouts, to make new, you know, t mus muscle tissue. But we don't need a whole lot of it, you know, of course extra protein will go away with, the, you know, with what, but <laughs> you don't really need as much as you think you do. Um, and with, if you, if you want some evidence on that, there's a lot of, um, a lot of science improvement, improvement um, sci science uh, sources you can find on the internet, but you also can read um, about 80-10-10 diet, for example, there's many people who are eating only 10% of the of, of the whole uh, of the the hundred percent of food intake during the day, so they eat uh, ten percent from protein, ten percent from fat, and eighty percent from carbs, the good carbs, plant-based carbs, and they're looking amazing. And of course, like if you can, if you want to build muscles, you can do that, and you can eat a little bit more of both plant protein, which is a rice protein, or um, you also there, there's so many like Vega or Vega, how you call it. I don't take any supplements as I said, but I don't mind if they are vegan, like, go ahead, you can do that, but you just don't need it. Um, I'm, I'm not a bodybuilder myself, but I know if I, would if I would love to be a bodybuilder, I could easily be, be the bodybuilder without any supplements, because I see how my muscles are growing when I work out, when I take heavy, heavier weights. So it's, it's not only about protein, it's mostly about what food you actually take in. So I wanted to talk to you also about the quality of the protein you take. So I am concerned and I'm almost 100% sure that plant-based protein is more quality-based protein that you, you, may only, you can only find around. And I was born in Russia and raised there and, and I was you know, raised on the, on the idea that only animal-based protein is actually, you know, the, the complete, how you call it, complete not protein, which is actually can work for us people. But this is not true. Any protein counts. Any protein you can take from beans, from legumes, from any kind, uh, everywhere, even in fruits, there is some protein. You know, each and every uh, food has protein in it. And if you want to eat a little bit more, you can take a little bit more beans, for example, or a little bit more. If you want to eat some protein shakes, the vegan protein shakes, you can do it as well. But like, you don't really have to. You don't have to spend those money for these protein shakes and these supplements and everything, which is actually only spoiling your, your health. You can reach all your goals. You can maybe work a little bit harder, 
but it's worth it because you will be healthier you know, on, on your way. Uh, and you probably all know that we need about, uh, about one gram on each kilogram uh, of, of weight for protein. So if I'm weighing, for example, 55 or 54 kilograms, so I need like about roughly about 54, 55 grams of protein. And I get them easily without any supplements, without any um, chicken breasts, <laughs> without anything like extra on the top of it. If I want, and I, get, I can get even more. Like yesterday, for example, I ate uh, my lentils a little bit. I just put it as a meatless supplement somehow, uh, some kind of on my, um, uh, on my lasagna. And I had about 77 grams of protein a day. And this is more than enough. And I was working out yesterday, so I was like going to eat it a little bit more. Um, so e easily you can, you can have it. You know, we don't have to eat animals to get this protein, but this is a clean protein, don't forget about that. You not only, all, you not only eat clean and good protein when you're eating some, you know, plant-based kind of foods, but you also get fiber, which is a really big issue right now in the Western world. We're not getting enough fiber right now. But what can you get with chicken breasts? You can get, of course, you can get protein, but it's also hormones. It also saturated fat, trans fats, which you don't need and which can lead to the really big problems, especially as many athletes eat, eat right now, like about, you know, almost like two chickens a day, I think, if you will count how many chicken breasts they eat in a day. This is crazy. When you think about how much fat, how much bad hormones, how much, you know, really creepy stuff comes in the, into their bodies with this good protein, good protein as they call it, this is just doesn't make any sense. So many people overeat on protein, no matter from what source it comes comes from. So is it plant-based or animal-based? It's still not really good to overeat protein, I think. And based on the study, in uh, which are showed in the in such books like Chain China study by Dr. Colin Campbell or Dr. Douglas Graham, um, 80-10-10. And I'm concerned that this is the, the right way to do, that we don't really need as much protein as we think we do. Uh, it's, of course, it depends on your activity, as I said, but still, uh, for example, me, I, uh, my weight is, as I said, 55 around. I don't really have weights, you know, I don't know how much I weigh, but I'm, I know for sure that it's around 55, 54 kilograms. I don't know about the pounds, sorry, you can calculate it. Uh, and my normal pr protein intake is about 50 grams. And um, right now I'm still concerned about how, how, not protein, like even I'm not concerned about protein, um, about the other vitamins and nutrients, essential nutrients I get from food. So I also have food journal like um, on my phone. It's uh, my fitness pal application. And I always check like how much of everything I ate throughout the day. And I know for sure that even not bothering about some lentils, legumes and beans, even if I don't really take them, I eat just, you know, leafy greens and I eat like fruits and bananas and mangoes and you know, porridges or whatever I eat, I always get my 50 grams of protein or even more. So it doesn't really, like you're supposed to know that all products contain some protein. There are so many bodybuilders, vegan bodybuilders who are eating uh, plant-based protein and I'm not really you know I'm not talking you know I'm not saying that this is too bad but I just feel like this is too much pressure on our kidneys and our body to process it extra protein if you don't really need it uh, I do a lot of sports and I've seen the I, I see the results from it like I'm not a bodybuilder no I do exercising and I see the results and I see right now I even see better results than I used to do not because I'm eating plant-based protein I think not because of that but because I'm more active right now, I feel more healthy, I'm more like energetic. So I do, I perform better. And that's how I make all these gains. I, that's how I make my muscles work. And that's how I see the results. And I think this is essential. This is the most essential in, in, in your diet to get pure, complete protein. And you can have all amino acids, as I said, from plant-based protein, believe me. If you will look through the researches and I will put the link below, you will see that protein sometimes you can give it, get even more from beans and legumes than from piece of meat.
but you also will get all kind of amino acids and fiber and everything you need for digestion than, you know, in, in comparison with meat. So all I wanted to say, this is all up to you, you know, so you, you can choose, but don't say that this is, that the plant-based protein is not enough. It's all discovered and proved by the scientists and so many researches and so many doctors who are saying that protein, the, the plant-based protein is enough for any human being. Or how would the cows can be, you know, so big, or gorillas, or giraffes, or, you know, every all the mammals which are, have, which basically most of them has the same uh, system digestion and stuff as we do. How they survive without <coughs> any animal food? Of course, if you are st if you're starving or you're like in the war in <coughs> or in the on the island when there is no food, I mean like plant-based food or whatever, of course you can, uh, you will eat something else than plant-based protein. But if we li live in the 21st century right now, we can choose ourselves what we, what we may eat, you know, what we decide to eat. And this is not about taste, it's about your health as well. And this is about the cruelty, and this is about yourself, you know, you're supposed to decide for yourself. And if you can, like if there is no difference, and there, and there is no difference, believe me. So why not to eat clean, plant-based diet and feel amazing, feel healthy, feel a lot of energy, be compassionate and have a great feelings about yourself and about your life. Uh, get some muscles on the plant-based protein. Why not? Why not choose it? Just uh, you can try it for yourself and see that there is no difference really but there is a lot more advantages with it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this video and about uh, plant-based and animal-based protein. And uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe on my channel, and thank you for watching. See you guys next time.